Back in February of 2018, I had a couple of months free before going back to school, and one dream of mine had always been to go see a rocket launch. There just happened to be rocket launches scheduled from Cape Canaveral that following week, so I packed my bags, planned my trip, and drove down for the launch. This Atlas V rocket launched on March 1st, 2018, carrying the GO-17 weather imaging satellite up to geostationary orbit up 22,200 miles above Earth. The satellite got to orbit on March 12th and became fully operational a year later on February 12th, 2019. I hadn't thought much about the rocket or its payload until recently when I started reading about software-defined radio and a great deal of potential in analyzing a bounty of local terrestrial radio signals as well as signals coming in from satellites in orbit. I was able to get that video and the neat photos you see here of the launch from Playa Linda Beach, 9 kilometers away from the launch pad. Afterwards, I enjoyed some of the beautiful wildlife of Florida for a few days and then returned back home. GO-17 and its partner GO-16 are a pair of weather satellites that take photos of the Earth across the M spectrum to help study the planet's weather patterns. The signals are broadcast on Earth where anyone can pick up the imaging data. There are some great tutorials on how to build a setup that you can see here. In my setup of a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi extension antenna that's modified to be able to receive the 1.7 GHz satellite signal. That's then connected to a low noise amplifier and saw filter, hooked up to an RTLSDR blog software defined radio dongle, which allows the radio signal to be fed into a computer, in this case, a Raspberry Pi. The Pi is hooked up via SSH, so I can control everything remotely via my computer. You can use sites like these to find out where the satellites are in your sky. After painstakingly pointing your antenna towards the satellite, you can start receiving the signal. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a good connection to GO-17, but I can get a pretty great connection to GO-16, which covers North and South America. And oddly enough, some images from GO-17 are rebroadcast through 16. Now let's enjoy a time-lapse of the images I received. <laughs> 